Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Tom Mason, also known as Vision Martian. Today, I'm back again with another vlog and a little adventure up north. Well, not really up north. I'm just going as far as La Vera today. And I don't know what you call this strip, this road, but this is where I'm at right now. I know all this time, I really thought that the water used to just be coming all the way up to the rock right here, you know. But you actually have a little bit of sand before you reach all the way here. But this looks like some nice surfing water right here, you know. But me, I'm not a surfer, so. But if you want to come down here in Grenada and surf and stuff, this is a good spot to come and get your little surfing in and all that. Yeah, so I'm at River Anton and yo, as you can see, right, they have like a, I don't know if you can see, a road that goes all the way around. So if you want to either walk, I guess, drive around, you can know, which is kind of cool because if you want to see that up close, you can know. But yo, no matter which part in Grenada you go, the views are always nice, yo. The views are nice, no matter which part you go. See that view? And especially if you build your house on top of a, a, a hill or something. But the only problem I have with down here is that they sell everything in US dollars. Like, this is Grenada. The currency that we use down here is EC. So why are they selling lands in the US? Like, damn. Making it hard for people to get land and all that. Yeah, so I'm back here again, you know, for those who have not been here before, this is, I guess, Laveras Lake, and you have like a cool little boardwalk and everything where you can come walk down to see the nice lake, you know, be in nature, be a part of nature, experience Grenada basically. Yo. Look at this view though, holy shit. I don't know if y'all can hear me right now, but as I said, you know, yo, no matter which part of Grenada you go, the view is always gonna be nice. Like, do y'all see that? And then the breeze right here, and then the breeze right here is feeling real nice right now. I live for moments like this. Yo, the water looking real high, but it's still looking nice. I see those islands over there. Yo, and that house, that's what I want to do one day, like be able to own an island and live on it and then take a boat or whatever, come back on the mainland. One day, one day, I'm gonna make everything happen one day, for sure, for sure. But yo, Greenland is a real nice place to come and 
relax and clear your head and be at peace, you know, because no matter which part of the island you go to, you're always going to be Water came all the way up here, eh? that's why I was really back. But yeah, what I was saying, no matter which part of the island you go to, you will always be at peace, you know? Like, yo, surrounded by nature. This is, this is what you call paradise. You know, like paradise, we used to be reading in the book, and so that's what we call paradise. <laughs> this is what you call paradise. And as Grenadians, like, those who are lucky to live down here, that all year round, y'all need to really enjoy it and, and go around because this is what people outside, like in New York, America, England, and other places, be dreaming about when they take their vacation and stuff. And with us, the most we could get in America, well, most jobs, is basically two weeks, which is 10 days. You know, 10 days vacation to come and enjoy a place like this and stuff. But I mean, if you don't here and you are able to travel and go somewhere, go experience it. Because it's always good to see other places so that you can know what you have at home, you know? If you catch my drift. So right now I'm about to get a drink at um the water club up in but that way it's like a it's a real cool spot to come and take a drink and stuff this is how the place looking i like it i like the setup and everything look at the setup you see this is how you looking place looking nice nice good customer service and everything yeah, you see all the place looking inside, looking nice. Look at all the flags. Look at Grenada flag looking nice. Basically, like all the flags. Yep. All right. Now all this is private property, right? Uh huh. So we just allow people to cook there. Okay. Like where everybody just come. Yeah. And cook, pitch a tent. And what happened now? We're gonna organize like four different cooking sites. Oh, right there to cook and yeah, stuff. Yeah, put one long table so uh -huh. you can chop the meat and you know do whatever they want. Yeah. Okay. So that will be in, in by Christmas itself. Okay, okay, that's the perfect timing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. well, like the main cooking spot there, well, on stones, eh? Uh huh. Old school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like because when I was younger, before the hurricane in 2004, yeah. we came here and we cooked right, right, right here too. So, right. so, so you're bringing it back, this, So yeah. we're trying to make it very. Up accommodating for uh -huh. the people who come. So, if you want a shot or anything, or a nice little drink, this is a good spot to come to, to come get something to drink and stuff. And it's right on the beach.